Good evening. It's time to get started. Hello there, Kit. You are first for sure. <laughs> yeah, rip you many times. Rip us all many times. Um, it says, I hate body campers playing an FPS right now. Uh, is that that Shatterline game you've been playing? Um, I'm not familiar with that one. The, uh, the shooter I play more than pretty much anything else is uh, Risk of Rain 2. Nice. Cool. <laughs> well, okay, speaking of body campers, though, <laughs> I had uh, a friend back in uh, just after high school. So this was in like 2001. Oh boy, 21 years ago. Jeez. Um, <laughs> And uh, he was uh, he was kind of obnoxious in games sometimes, and we would play um, we'd play Goldeneye on the N64, and so I actually managed to uh, memorize the order of the respawn locations because they weren't random in the temple level, and uh, so we were playing License to Kill with pistols, so one hit kills, and uh, after I got one kill. I was able to just sprint to the next spot, stay barely out of the room so that that would be where he'd respawn and just uh, tap a bullet on the head <laughs> each time. That got him back for being obnoxious. <laughs> All right, let's take down the starting soon screen. <clears throat> and let's hop on to the uh, first SMP right here. And uh, well, let's see, where did I log out? I think I'm in my storage area. Yeah, okay, we're in the storage area. So it's it's still, oh, there's still poop on the ground. I still haven't cleaned up after uh, shipwreck. Yeah. Speaking of shipwreck, I hope he uh, looking fancy. Thank you, Kit. Um, I'm really happy with this build. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna add some stuff over there. I think my uh, non-stackable stuff might go here, along with a little bit of a workstation. Um, right now, I'm uh, working on some uh, some uh, sorting out of the non-stackable stuff, since that has to be done manually. And uh, it has actually backed up the non-stackables a few times. That's what I put that light in for. Uh, if the non-stackables get backed up too far, the sorter stops so that things don't get dispensed and uh, lost. And uh, that light... Um, I added to this build so that I would know that that's what was happening. So yeah, there it is. It's uh, dropping off some uh, probably gravel. Let's see. Yep, gravel right now. Very good. Um, it's actually gone through a whole lot of my stuff. So um, I've been dropping more stuff in it. Hi. Hi, Kevin. You're, uh, you're, you're in the way there, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I actually rewired it a little bit, uh, the light, so that it would actually uh, go off of this hopper here, which is what the uh, the the over the uh, not backup protection. What I'm looking looking for the the if it's if it's overstocked, <laughs> what are words? I don't know. So um, it is actually. Uh, giving a signal right now because uh, some of the non-stackable items that I have are starting to back up into that hopper. Um, and I think one more item, maybe two, and it'll be enough. It will actually turn on that light. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, let's look back here. Here's the stuff that it's working on right now. It's taken most of it out of some shulker boxes. Oh, look, it's... Uh, it's been working on some of my shulker heads and uh, my skulk stuff, or my uh, player heads and skulk stuff. Nice. Um, and yeah, this thing was over full, and uh, now there are only six more shulker boxes in it, plus a little bit more. So let's see. It's There it goes. It's off to do stuff. But if we hop down here, how far backed up is it still? Okay, yeah. It's still a little backed up, but it is actually almost done. And I haven't been um, AFKing here. Um, I've been a little bit idle here at some times while working on uh, on other stuff at my computer. But if I'm not at my computer, I'm not AFKing. That's my my rule for myself for uh, this season and probably for any future Minecraft that I do, um, because I kind of like it that way. But yeah, this is uh, this has been working its butt off. Okay, that means uh, if it's a short snake. That means that there is a very small amount of items going through. And where are they going? It stopped there. So it was probably it was probably copper ore. 
or coal ore because I've been mining out a room. Um, and so what we're going to do today, though, is not the storage system. I do have some stuff that I could drop in there, but I'm going to wait. Uh, we've got a little bit of digging to do today, but I've actually done most of the digging beforehand. So if we come over here, uh, what we were working on last time we were here is my evil brewery. <laughs> so um, these are based on, they're inspired by fermentation vats for, for beer, for beer brewing. Um, but they are much bigger. And uh, this is definitely, as I've stated before, a not an efficient setup, but a cool setup. Oh, hi, that's also a slime chunk. I'm going to have to um, make it spawn proof against those guys. But um, as you can see, I've it's expensive. <laughs> I've run out of copper, uh, not copper ore. I do have a bunch of copper ore. I just need to process it. And uh, I've already processed quite a bit just to get this far. Um, I ran out a couple times of the smooth basalt and had to process some more in my basalt generator up on the nether roof um, and then uh, cook it to smooth basalt. And I ran out of black stained glass several times. And so I've made several trips to a nearby river to uh, kill a bunch of squid and get black dye. Um, and also I have made... I haven't made any trips to a desert to get sand. I have plenty of sand, but I have done lots of smelting of sand, which is why you saw those trees out there in the middle, because I was also running out of fuel this whole time for both smelting up the copper and uh, smelting up the glass. So, and I'm out of glass again. Um, and I've decided that this is the aesthetic that I'm going for for all of these, um, these workstations, these factory bits in here. I'm also going to... I'm going to move this wall back by one. Not today, though. Not not on this stream. Um, and these, this uh, little archway right here, um, I'm going to continue that on each of these rows. So I've started right there. But uh, I stopped because I'm out of glass, and I decided, okay. Classic Minecraft fashion. Oh, Satan! Redeemed the booznate. Okay. Um, I'm no longer using a, a browser source and a wireless uh, connection with my iPhone for this. I actually got a, uh, a tiny USB capture card, and it's working great. So I've had to move everything, <laughs> but here it is. And that's the first boozinate of the stream. Hello, Satan. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. So let's let's do this. Let's open up the the booza hall, and you can see my uh, my PC case behind there. It's an old. Uh, Mac Pro from 2006 that I've scooped the guts out and built my gaming PC in. It was quite the challenge, especially considering it was my first ever uh, custom PC build, but it went very well. Delicious. All right, let's put that up there on the redstone block. And then the hydrate... Awesome. Thank you very much, Satan. Satan's always looking out for me. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, this slime is just trying to get to me, but he can't. So yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to be lowering this floor a couple blocks as well, and continuing this uh, this smooth basalt and glass. And uh, basically, it's going to be very similar. Um, it's a little bit less fancy, but pretty much the same stylistical choice as the storage area. So let's look at that again real quick. But yeah, these floors here, how it's, uh, I love it with the shaders. I love the reflections on the glass. It's so good. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna have quite so fancy a ceiling, probably. I think I'm gonna do this like we saw in the uh, brewery room uh, for floor and ceiling. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Kit. <laughs> I do too. Um, and I think you were uh, one of the ones uh, encouraging me to try basalt. Um, it was either you or Silvery Sky or both. Um, <laughs> and it is exactly right. I'm really running with this motif here, this this basalt. And it's perfect for my evil lair. Uh, but yeah, so this is fully functional. Um, it, there's some more cosmetic work to be done, but I'm working on getting some other things up and running because uh, it, it kind of... It kind of looks like ADD, uh, starting a new project before finishing another one. And uh, it is a little bit, but it's also fully justified because to continue this, 
I need to do a whole lot of smelting, so it's time to make the, the smelter. <laughs> and then once I've got this done, I'll have all the potions I need to do the, uh, the uh, villager uh, cloning lab over there, so... <laughs> So yeah, <clears throat> it's all connected. To make one build, you got to make three other builds, and for each of those, you got to make three other builds or four. It's Minecraft. So <laughs> here is where we're going to build the smelter, and uh, this room is not fully dug out. I thought about finishing this dig before the stream. Derp ad says Kaylee. Why? No, no derp ad. Let's put the cats up though, since Kaylee's here. Hello, Kaylee. <laughs> How are you doing today? Um, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, here. this is an ADD moment. Before I finish this thought, um, Kit, I assume that's you that retweeted uh, from the uh, First Craft Twitter about how many derps I have. Um, and you have the wrong number because it's this many. Biz.e, says Kaylee. Cryptically. <laughs> it's that many. But yeah, so I thought about finishing the entire dig of this room and starting right into the build for the stream, but then I ended up excavating something, and this is one of the reasons that I hope uh, we see a shipwreck today. I don't know if we will or not, he's a very busy guy these days. Um, but uh, down here, I didn't dig that, that little trough. You, you want to know what this is? <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, let's take it from here. This way. <laughs> here we go. Oh, we're right back to here, but... We can continue to the start of this tunnel. That was dug by a particular mole. Oh yeah, there's still one shulker uh, sensor that I haven't... Oh, it branches now. Is this how he put in the, sh the shulker sensor? Oh no, here we go, here we go. <laughs> but, says Kaylee. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, there's some poop. You win poop! Okay, I guess this is the, uh, the, the end, actually. <laughs> but this is, uh, this is the original adventure land. <laughs> this is nightmare-inducing, says Kaylee. Oh, that gives me some ideas for some games. Are you a Dan Bear rat? I guess. Squeak, squeak. Wait, damn bear mole more like. This was dug by a mole. <laughs> Good thing there are the comfort cats on the screen, right? But yeah, that comes back to here. So I decided, all right, if I'm going to be excavating the original Adventureland trademark shipwreck V27, I might as well do it live. <laughs> Oh boy. Let's see, you have to definitely have to make a one tall scream maze, Dan. Yes. <laughs> I've seen some diabolical mazes too, uh made of glass. I think there's one on Halcyon Heights, or is it or is it elsewhere? There's one uh there's a giant Escher inspired maze that uh that Mr. Vloop made that is downloadable on Planet Minecraft and is on my long list of things I really want to download and play. <laughs> But uh, to be honest, after Halloween, yeah, well, it's before Christmas, so. <laughs> but let's uh, turn off the shaders for a moment and turn on the uh, the uh, schematical renders. All right, and this is not properly placed yet. It's a little bit high, but this is for spacing. But this is the super smelter that I'm going to build. I did not design this. I found this one on YouTube, and I really like it. It is a combination super smelter and lava farm. Make it out of black concrete with black carpet. Oh my gosh. So, Kaylee, this was before there was black concrete in the game when the darkest block, darkest smoothest texture was black uh, terracotta. And uh, way back in Minecraft 1.6, and I was playing, playing on the Film Cow server, uh, the guy who made uh, Charlie the Unicorn, his server, and I made a giant 120 block tall uh, replica of a sentry turret from Portal. And I made the legs out of black terracotta. And I really wish, in hindsight, that I had used a resource pack to make that easy to see just for the building. Because that was nightmarish. 
It turned out really well, though. I'll have to show that off one of these days. Uh, but yes, this is placed here so that I could get spacing of the walls even from the furnaces. Realistically, look at this. I have sticks in my inventory <laughs> while working on a schematic. It's because I was earlier today working on it. That's why. So let's move it down a little bit. Derp add. No, that's no derp. Okay, this is the topmost deal. Uh, but there are also... There are stairs set up with it. Right there. So we'll probably... I mean, I'm going to have a layer of glass right here as well. I, I'm just out of black glass. So let's go... Two more blocks down like this. I know this can open into the glass, but if I can avoid that, I'd like to. And let's see where that puts the stairs. I don't mind uh, if it is a little bit low. I can adjust that some. But yeah, we are excavating. <laughs> we are excavating the original Adventureland. All right, let's turn off the rendering for a moment and turn back on the shaders. And I can tell you the, the storage system is already saving me time. Uh-oh, no! The stream dropped! Okay, well... Boo! Are we back? I think we're back. Okay, the stream dropped again. Dang it! So I've been trying some different settings in Twitch and in OBS to see if I can prevent the stream droppage, but... That's a confirmation that it is not happening. So, or it's not helping. Not yet, so I'm gonna have to keep playing with that. That is frustrating. Oh, you thought it was you because you loaded No Man's Sky? Ah, and you're first! Yes! Kaylee. Legit. Bonafide first. <laughs> uh, I don't know why this is happening recently. It uh, it tends to happen specifically during the Minecraft streams too, but it has happened also during Kerbal streams. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, but one thing that I've tried uh, for the last two streams, including this one is instead of having OBS pick a Twitch server um, automatically, I'm trying to select one manually and see if I can find one that is stable. Assuming that that is the actual issue. I don't know if that is the actual issue. You stole first, says Kaylee. I'm not legit or bona fide. Uh, according to the stream, you are legit first, like the actual one. So I'm not gonna argue with the stream. The stream says so. It says Kaylee Obsidia redeemed first, and there's only one of those available per stream, so that's scientific proof right there. Can't argue with the facts, and that's a fact. Alright, and here we are at the <laughs> level right above <laughs> Adventureland. I'm gonna have to excavate it and then take a screenshot. <laughs> Rage quit lol says broken man. Oh, did you did you rage quit uh Shatterline or are you rage quitting the threatening to rage quit the stream or accusing me of rage quitting? Oh you did? Uh <laughs> Rip You should get Risk of Rain too. It might even be on sale right now, or that might have just ended. All right. Here we go. We're going to have very soon the entire, well, this section of the tunnel. <laughs> Excavated. You're tired and just not in the headspace for it? I understand that for sure. Let's see. Yeah, Twitch is telling me that my bitrate is, is bad, but OBS is telling me that my bitrate is good, so I don't know. <laughs> You'll just enjoy my chill vibes and the, uh, hopefully not frequent disconnects. Yeah, I had also a little bit of a lag spike at the same time, but I don't... I don't know for sure if that really is the internet on my end, which is very strange. Oh, yeah, there it went. Are we back? Are we back? I think we're back. Yep, just as just as Kit says, it looks good on my end. He says, oh. <laughs> Boo. Look what I'm gonna do. Oh, Satan stole it.
Rude thing to say to Satan, Kaylee. Would Satan want you to hate? I don't think so. Satan has our backs. Satan is a good guy and a close personal friend. All right, let's uh, light this up so that we don't end up with creepers. Oh, it happened again. All right, that is, that is unacceptable. Let's see, can I... Not while I'm live. I can't change the, uh, I can't change the, uh, the, the server. Hmm. Can I change the bitrate live? Let's see. I don't know if that'll help either, but let's, let's see. Let's see if that helps. Down with Santa. <laughs> so it's good. Yeah, down with Santa. scamming kids and all that wow all right and i have a full inventory so okay good it looks like i can indeed change the bitrate live because now we're streaming at uh five megabits per second instead of six so hopefully that helps although i think it just dropped again This is so annoying. This only happened in the past month. I've had... Okay, still there? Okay. Oh, you're still here, yeah. I've had such reliable and stable internet until this last month this has started happening. And uh, I'm just wondering if maybe there are just too many devices connected. We haven't really... We've added like one in the last month, maybe. Hi, says Kaylee. <laughs> Oh, but this makes it really annoying for VODs in particular. Gross. All right. But yeah, I'm still doing uh, just a little bit of manual, but for the most part, like if I've got a whole lot of something, I'm just going to drop it in the right spot. But then the rest of it, oh, not that, uh, can just be dropped right in here like that. Boop. First isn't available. Well, that's because it's been claimed, Kaylee. It was claimed by Satan. Wait, no. It was claimed by Kit. Kit, the legit first. I saw it. There can only be one first per stream, and it was Kit. Kit must be really good at theft. <laughs> now nah, you're thinking of Shipwreck. The stinky thief slash murderer. That's, that's who. Alright. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that, that mole. And Kit redeemed booze name. All right. Stream. If I booze for you, at Kit's request, will you be stable? I hope so. Look at that. Doing the booze name left-handed now. <laughs> it says I was the first first. Kit, there's only one first. And it was you. I, I scroll up and I can see. Um, let's turn off the boost cam. I scroll up and I can see that uh, Kit was first. Yeah. Right there. Pro Kit Man redeemed first. There it is. Three minutes ago when I started stream. All right. Let's get, let's get a screenshot of this excavated adventure land for shipwreck. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right. <laughs> Let's go down one more block as well, just like a so. And all the way to this corner. This is the wall of the the next room over. So if I if I were to break that, we can see into the brewery. That's how close we are. We have just enough room. And man, I've got some serious stream delay now on my uh, on my preview. That's okay. And also, I need to repair my tool soon. I'm sticking with Silk Touch just in case I forget to switch when I start working with glass. There we go.
I wish there were more, like, naturally generated things that you could, uh, find and unearth, excavate as you dig. I hope we do, at some point, see archaeology. <laughs> I'm, uh, not particularly confident that we will, but maybe. Saint says, that's why I play modded. <laughs> oh, man, I'm, uh... I want to... I really want to get back to my Subtech Ages playthrough. I miss that mod pack so much. And uh, people are trying to tempt me with uh, other mod packs like uh, Vault Hunters or Create. And I really want to, but I'm, uh, I'm insisting that I finish what I've started first. But uh, I need to get to... I need to get to a point where I can actually do that. I'm committed to this mega base, but I'm thinking uh, when we do a... Uh, uh, we're probably going to reset for uh, 1.20 when that comes out. And when we do... Ah! When we do... Create is in Vault Hunters? Yeah. Uh, when we do re reset, though, uh, whenever that happens to be, um, I intend to really make an effort to scale back my builds so that I can be just as involved, um, but also have time to do some other things as well and uh, spread my time out better. Because I'm barely even on my own family server. <laughs> and I haven't made a proper YouTube video in so long. The last one I made was the, the one where we did the meteor um, the meteor shower, the apocalypse for New Gondwana Land and updated to Wanda. Wanda <laughs> 18. I was talking and not paying attention. Should I rage quit? <laughs> yeah, that is. That is. Hi, Elric. <laughs> 218 derps now. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well. That's going to be an issue. I don't think we're going to be working with glass today, so that's fine. Yeah, diamond. At least it wasn't netherite. Um, but, Kit, you want to take a guess why I had a diamond pickaxe in the first place, hmm? I'll let you take a guess. We start and go back to the last save point. Oh, uh, that's a good point. <laughs> um, and let's see, here is a fortune pickaxe. Yes, that is why. Um, I did that while clearing all the netherite for the frog statue. In fact, let's... Let's see. Time's broken. Iron axe. Yeah, that's deliberate. That's the 11th diamond pickaxe I've broken. Uh, iron pickaxe. Yeah, that's deliberate. Six. I have broken six netherite pickaxes. Six. Um, let's see. But while we're here, time's mind. This is why. <laughs> I think I also just for fun want to make that an even million. I should do some more netherite mining. I have more than I need right now, but no, oh, Travis needs us get. I know, right? But um, yeah, a quarter million stone blocks. That's uh, digging out this base here mostly. Um, yeah, this is this is from the basalt farm. <laughs> and yeah, this is this is from my mine down below. But yeah. So are these, but look at that. Nearly one million. Uh, oh, oh, Kaylee's going to tell me a number, and I bet that that number is zero. And the question is the one she's asking now is, wow, want to know how many I have broken in my entire Minecraft career? Did I match the answer to the question properly, Kaylee? <laughs> oh, boy. Well... The good news is that I do need... It is zero, says Kaylee. <laughs> I do need more cobblestone, too. I've gotten lots of stone out of this project, so, you know, cobblestone is fine. I just need to make a new silk touch pickaxe before I, uh... Before I work with glass. Otherwise, my shortage will be even more severe. Oh, hi. Also, there's this problem. Is there a creeper around the corner? No? Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, well, here's some copper that I can smelt up. Some iron, which reminds me I should probably clean out the, uh, the iron farm down in the basement. It's probably yeah, at least close to full again. Um, I'm going to be using a whole lot of iron for this project because we're going to have, uh, what, like 40 uh, cauldrons, something like that. It's going to be a lot of cauldrons. But hey, while I'm thinking of it, um, I did remember to update the tutorial command. That... Um, yep, that looks right. That is a link to the video that uh, I'm following the tutorial from. I've actually downloaded his schematic and uh, I edited it so that... Uh, that's one of my favorite things is I edited it. I edited it so that uh, the dirt and grass blocks were not there. And uh, the result is what you saw partially unearthed a little bit ago. And after I do these levels here, we're going to see how well it fits and uh, if I need to keep digging downwards, and if so, how far. I'm betting I have to dig two more blocks down. And also, my inventory is full again. We're going to finish this layer and then go drop this stuff off. And... There it is. That is it done. Okay, let's uh, let's empty the inventory. And yeah, let's just drop it all right in here. That's the whole point of it, right? Let's see. You want to keep that on me, but this can go that and that um actually let's no we don't need to keep that on on us we can go get more if we need it um and i've already dug out the top of the room so we're not going to be uh exposing ourselves to any more ocean water at least we shouldn't be if we do we have a whole different problem there might be caves underneath um i've already filled in some and i have not let this up again still and there's, of course, Adventureland. <laughs> Alright, good. Nothing spawned in here. Pop, pop, pop. Alright. Let's turn the shaders back off. And the rendering back on. And yeah, you can see, you can see the lava farm. And yeah, we're definitely going to need to drop it down a little bit. Um, and actually, this is this is great. So he had this sitting on the ground and these stairs leading up to the top. So you can come down here and uh, get the output, go up there and uh, manage the input and the uh, fuel if it backs up. Um, but uh, I don't mind having it be kind of split level. Oh, hi. You just emerged from the schematic like magic. Um, but yeah, and have stairs going down and stairs going up. I think that would actually be very cool. And yeah, there's a creeper. All right. Let's deal with you butts. Yeah, I have a smite five axe. What about that, do you think, huh? I see you, creeper. I see you, spiedier. Yeah, one hit. Ha <laughs> ha. How about that? None can withstand my smite five axe. All right, but we should drop these walls down. Um, I am going to have to scaffold up to uh, put the glass layer in for the walls later. But I uh, would rather just get this thing up and running rather than wait to dig it all out. So um, it makes more sense because I simply do not have that much glass. Hence the need for this project. Let's see, yep. 
Now I can get the torch out of my hand so that I don't do that again. There we go. And yep, <laughs> that's already two, two more stacks of this place. We're going through this fast. Um, I have about three and a half more shulker boxes of it. But after that, that is, uh, it's back to the basalt generator. <laughs> yep, I uh, went through, uh, without breaking, that entire pickaxe uh, a couple nights ago while watching YouTube videos. Finally getting around to starting campaign two of Critical Role. Yeah, I'm only four years behind on Critical Role. Did I hear a slime? Yeah, I heard a slime in there. Same place as that other one we saw. There we go. Yeah, I haven't even finished the glass in the brewery room yet, so... <laughs> no way I have enough for in here, but... This already is looking cool. I'm just looking forward to having the reflective uh, effect. Um, and I'm probably going to also uh, raise this up a little bit, but I'm going to worry about that later. Let's see. Kaylee says, it's almost like they spawn in certain chunks or something. I know, right? I wish that they had changed it so they only spawn in lush caves. But that they always spawn in lush caves. I think that would have a, uh, a yet another missed opportunity with the uh, this update. Um, speaking of missed opportunities... <laughs> I was playing this morning with the, uh, let's turn on the shaders again. I was playing this morning with the uh, experimental features for 1.20 because I'm very excited about the uh, the mob head custom sounds on note blocks. And I really hope that they don't miss the opportunity to let those change pitch according to the uh, pitch of the note block they're placed on. If they don't, that's going to be one of the biggest disappointing missed opportunities ever and i'm already frustrated because i don't expect them to continue fixing uh broken nbt data for player heads they they made it so that you can add a custom mob sound uh to a player head place that player head break that player head and pick it back up and it retains that mob sound so they can make those mob heads retain their nbt data they have deliberately chosen not to. It's even marked, the bug report is even marked as works as intended. To where the, uh, any tags that you add to it for a, for a data pack or anything, any, uh, any name that you add to it, gone. <laughs> it's so annoying. Plus, you pick up a, a player head that you've placed and then broken again, and it doesn't stack with an identical player head or what should be an identical player head, because now it's technically a different one. I don't understand the logic of it. <laughs> but yeah, since they've marked that as works as intended on the, uh, the bug tracker website, I'm pretty confident they're going to leave it that way. Oh well. I'm still looking forward to the mob head sounds, but uh, if they don't don't change pitch, then that will ruin my plans to have a, a mob head orchestra of note blocks in the next update. <laughs> that is something I desperately want to do. Alright, we're breaking candles as we, or torches as we go. Listening to that slime squish in the other room, contaminating the, uh, the booze, probably. We go around again. I always find it satisfying to dig these in this spiral pattern inward, and each pass is shorter and quicker than the last one. Very cathartic. Elric redeemed the booze night. All right, let's drink in the dark. Let's let's uh, show you my my face, not illuminated, while we booze night. Here we go. 
can the hydrate while you listen to the slime squish in the next room. Thanks again, Elric. But I saw a creeper. It was just a, uh, a cobblestone block. Nothing to be alarmed about. Yeah, some, some chicken on the floor. Alright, yeah, and then this last little bit just goes super fast. Like I said, super satisfying, at least in my opinion. Of course, that sound of the pickaxe going nuts. All right, let's put these back in the offhand, turn the light levels back on. Put you there. All right, and oh, look <laughs> at that. We have one spot. If I left, it would definitely be a creeper there. Ping, says Kit. Half durability. I know. All right, let's eat a steak and then let's go empty the inventory again. Um, and I have a lot of cobblestone, so let's just drop that off directly, real quick. <gasps> How did that get in there? I might have dropped it somewhere. Either that, or we have a problem. A couple times, as chunks have unloaded stackables have gotten over here is that happening now no just a quick double check here what are we unloading nothing right now it's about to pick something up let's uh let's watch it pick something up <laughs> it waits for just a minute Oh, there it goes. Oh, no, let's not. <gasps> let's pick that up before it gets somewhere. It left. <laughs> I didn't even get to see what it picked up. All right. Why is there a poppy in there? That might have happened a little while ago, and I just didn't notice, too. Okay, there's not another one. Let's just check real quick in the uh, the droppers up here. Okay, it's dropping skulk sensors, and that poppy is still there. I was worried that it was that poppy, but it is not. Okay, good. All right, now I need to get out of here. Pro jumping skills. All right, let's make sure it's dropping the skulk sensors where they go. It looks like it is right over here in the corner. Light is right there. So it if the light's there, then it means either this one or this one is being filled. And yep, it looks like it put the skulk sensors in the right place. Okay, good. Woo! Good to check that sometimes. <laughs> All right, and the rest of this, we're just going to drop right in here. So, andesite, gunpowder, uh, rotten flesh, granite, that poppy, granite, gravel. There we go. Oh, stuff's despawning. Look at that. <laughs> it's a race. It's a race against time. Not that I'm, you know, poor in these things. I just, you know, don't want to run out if I have a big project involving them. Being a hoarder has been actually very, extremely helpful in playing Minecraft. And by hoarder, I mean in Minecraft, not in real life. As far as you know... Out of those, 
All right, let's just do that real quick. You have so many chest monsters. Yeah, I have a lot fewer now. I still have a couple. This is not quite chest monster status. This is a little baby, baby chest monster. <laughs> There's a stray andesite right there. That's hilarious. But yeah, I've I've learned my lesson. I think I think I'm going to prioritize the storage system in my next world. The uh, the super sorter system that I have here is very scalable and. Uh, it's not exactly cheap, especially early game, but it is doable in the relatively early game. That blue mini sized chest monster, yep. <laughs> Alright, oh, let's turn the shaders off. That's why we do that. There we go. And this, I think, is as far down as it needs to go, although I also need room for the actual floor. So let's let's double check that. Okay, it does have some blocks down there, it looks like. Alright, let's pull it up one block. Yeah. Two blocks. Okay. That's down one more block, and then down one more block. Okay. And we can integrate this. This is decorative. It's not very important. Um, so we can integrate that into stairway down and this will work great and we don't even necessarily need a direct stairway down we can have a catwalk that comes over here and then around you know for style rather than effectiveness <laughs> it will be effective but i'm willing to sacrifice some of the effectiveness for the style because of how evil i am All right, looks like we're going to be cutting lower than the brewery, which is fine. And yeah, after these layers, I should go repair this pickaxe rather than get it all the way down. <laughs> I'm just going to blame you guys for my, my pickaxe because I was busy, you know, talking to you guys. And that's your fault. Obviously. Well, that helped a little bit because it's uh, got mending on it, right? Yep, mending. That was also my only Silk Touch pickaxe, so... Yeah, that's a thing. Oh. Yeah, there's no glass right here because I ran out. And we also need this, because we're going to put the basalt there. There we go. Leave a little bit of natural staircase this time. Whoop. And it gets progressively darker as we go. Oh! Whoops. <laughs> Good thing that's not important at all.
All right. Just a few more goes around, a few more laps, and we're good to go. And maybe I can get away with another another layer before repairing this. We're we're doing fine. We're at we're at about 40% efficiency here or durability. Not quite even down to one third yet. So yeah, we can do another two layers. Another thing I like about the uh, tutorial that I'm following for this and the schematic build is that he used the same generic uh, temporary building block or placeholder bl building block in the schematic that I do, which is the polished andesite. So, you know, obviously this is the one I should use. All right, uh, offhand. Derpability, says Kaylee. <laughs> You're just jealous of my derp ability. You wish you could derp like this. Make it look so good. All right, back here. No poppies in the cobblestone, okay? All right, good. All right, and then the rest, we can just pop right in here like so. Might as well put those in there, too. And those. Alright. One quick go around to pick this stuff up. And then we need to add the uh, the next layer of the smooth basalt. Oh, um, so actually I have a full inventory again. Wow. Speaking of the derps, I am also uh, investigating and actually right now testing a different uh, stream bot. I'm trying that uh, that streamer dot bot, and uh, so far I am impressed. Uh, nothing that has happened in the stream so far that you have seen has used it, but I was testing it earlier. And uh, so far it's been pretty easy to set up, and the possibilities that it offers are pretty impressive. And I might finally be able to get the, uh, the derp counter to show up on screen when someone adds the derp command. Uh, that's not set up yet, but I'm going to try for that. Because I tried with uh, with Stream Elements, which is uh, where I have my overlay and the command for the, the derp. And uh, there is a function in that that is supposed to show it on the screen, but it never actually um, updates the variable on the screen. It just shows zero no matter what it is. Which is frustrating. That's no fun for you guys to not pretend that I've ever derped. When in reality, I have not ever derped. All right, that is out of the smooth basalt again. I can go grab a few more stacks. Let's just grab the uh, other five or six that were in that shulker box. Six. There we go. Another layer down. All right, shaders off. Schematic rendering on. And we're just about there. Yeah, this thing is gonna be cool when it's up and running. So let's go two more layers down. And yeah, we are good. We have we have just under one third durability left, so we will be fine for two more layers here. 
famous last words of this pickaxe. Not that the pickaxe uttered the words, that was me, but you know what I'm saying. Alright. It's fine. <laughs> Hazards of having haste too all the way through the base. Alright, let's also look at the map. We can see there is the outline of the room. That's the uh, square that I just walked. So here is the footprint of the brewery right there. It is freaking huge. Massive. And this thing is pretty big too, but much smaller. About half the, excuse me, about half the size it looks like. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of disguising of this on the top, but that's going to be the last step. I say that, you watch, I'll do that next. <laughs> I want there to be just the tiniest hint on the map that there's something under the lake. Hidden in the crater of this dormant volcano. Two torches on that pass. <laughs> yeah, this coal is helping a lot too. I guess we are right about at a uh, really great Y level for coal now, so that makes sense. I hear, I hear a, there's a zombie. Hi. Swung too soon. Took two hits. Okay, it says, how long has it been since your door was broken? Um, I don't know, probably a couple days, at least. Maybe a little more. And no, I haven't fixed it yet. Almost, almost through this. One of these days, I'll start a stream, and I'll just go through that door and it'll be working. And you'll be like, what? No, no way. It'll be exactly like that. That's, that's exactly how you're going to sound. All right. Oh, let's let's light this up first, <gasps> and then let's clear the inventory. There we go. Yeah, the door is fine, Kaylee. It's just, it's totally fine. I just don't need to use it right now, that's all. That and no other reason. Alright, lots of copper. That's good. Iron, coal. Yep. And then probably another whole... Rest of my... Ow! Rest of my inventory's worth of stuff still lying on the ground. Yeah, I don't need you. It'll just be another non-stackable that I have to sort through manually.
Yep. Almost another whole stack. Or a whole inventory. Plus, it is time, regardless of whether I dig more or not, to go repair my pickaxe before that happens again. I mean, it happens for the first time. So let's go take a look at how this is going to fit, and then let's go fix the uh, pickaxe. Shaders off. Oh, wait. Shaders were already off. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is great. So, uh, what I can do here... I have room to work, and then I will probably raise this back up by one. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I like where this is placed. I could even place it down by one. Let's see how that looks. It's not impressive enough. That's definitely better. Alright, yep. I like it. I like it here. Which means I'm probably going to fill this in again, which is fine. Uh, it's not a big deal. Um, for now, though... Let's place what obsidian, or not obsidian, uh, basalt I have in the inventory, and then go fix the pickaxe. good <laughs> want you to despawn boots you're useless okay that was enough to go all the way around there and we have just over a stack here so let's go ahead and place it might as well Sounded like it broke two things, but I don't see anything else broken. Okay. Alright, and we need to replace this torch right there. Uh, the lighting is good over there and in those corners. Alright, excellent. Yeah, that definitely will need to be raised up a little bit so that that doesn't look a little bit, you know, derpy. So. There's going to be a little bit of an archway across, and maybe maybe I'll do three of those. Which means... Hmm, hold on. What if I raise it up? Whoop, up one more. Because, yeah, that definitely looks better. And let's use this polished basalt as some scaffolding here. And let's just see where that chest there ends up. <laughs> okay. So if I if I raise a lot of this up by one, then that would work. And I don't mind doing that. Uh, this is part of the design and planning process here for me. The practical testing was in the creative uh, world, but I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it in here until I start. It's always been that way for me. 
Um, yeah. I like it. Means that this is going to be raised up by two. All right. <laughs> let's go fix the, uh, let's go empty. Now we already emptied the inventory. Let's go fix the pickaxe. Uh, shaders on. There we go. Around the little forest, evil forest. Past the evil sheep and the evil cows. And we need to go uh, northwest. There it is. Spawn. Yum. What a beautiful hole in the, the uh, nether roof. Take the torch out of the hand. Put that in the off hand, because that's where we're going to want it for the repairs. Ooh. And off to the Ender Ender. There's a door that isn't broken. Also made by me. Thank you so much, Vanilla Tweaks, for the Quiet Enderman data pack, because... Otherwise... I need to turn the whole volume down for this. Alright, and that is that. Already done. See, is there anything interesting in here? Is there maybe a stray... Uh, no, there's not. A stray silk touch book I was hoping for, but nope. Chuck Testa. Nope, don't have a one of those at all. I don't have a silk touch pickaxe, but I do have the hiccups, so there's that. All right, back to it. We're speedy for a second. And by back to it, I mean actually probably starting the build itself. So let's, uh, let's turn the shaders back off. Turn the schematic back on. Yeah, that, that sits much nicelier in the... Uh, in the frame of the doorway. And of course, we're going to have some lighting up there. Um, I've got lighting up above the vats, the fermentation vats, in here. Elric redeemed boozinate and hydrate. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Elric. Excellent. I need to make a booze run after this. I'm down to four boozes. All right. And if we go in here, schematic placements, uh, the lava smelter, configure, and let's get the materials list. So by polished andesite, it's really just building blocks. So probably going to use something else. Probably going to use blackstone or maybe deep slate. We can choose something. A uh, bunch of glass for the, uh... Oh, well, that's ironic. <laughs> I'm building this because I'm out of glass. I'm not quite out of glass. I definitely have enough for this. I have several stacks. I just don't, you know... Oh, Kaylee says, I just bought a neat gun in No Man's Sky. Neat. <laughs> uh, we're going to need 50 furnaces. 44 pointed dripstone. Actually, we're going to need 40. Because um, there's something that is in the... Uh, tutorial video that uh, is not 
correct in this schematic, and that is um, this is a piston feed tape of cauldrons. And uh, everywhere where there are observers like this, that point of dripstone it needs to go away because otherwise uh, it might update the uh, the cauldron at the wrong time and break the feed tape. So that would be bad. So yeah, four of these point of dripstones actually get removed. So I only need 40 and I have that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's go back, schematic placements, material list. Yep, I need a lot of lava buckets. I have the iron for it. 41 cauldrons. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. And the rest of this is, is nothing, nothing big, no big deal. So what we should do, oh, let's, wow. Let's make the hoppers. Um, another reason to do this one, one, I thought it was appropriate that we have one that is powered by lava. Um, I've never built one, um, a lava farm before, a proper one. I've used them, but I've never actually built one. And here we are in a dormant volcano as an evil lair. Might as well use lava as a, as a heat source, right? So we got a geothermal smelter uh, using locally sourced power, free range lava. Um, but then also, it means that uh, I don't need to have my tree farm when I build that hold double duty as fuel and as uh, building blocks. It can just be building blocks, which is nice. So let's go in here. I'm out of hoppers. <laughs> Um, I think I have a few, but I'm effectively out of hoppers, and there are none in here. Um, but if I go here, where there's mole poop, there's plenty of wood. Um, and I, I do like using these birch logs because they are the easiest wood by far to farm manually. And I am thinking I will build my first ever TNT tree farm. And uh, no, it's not going to be a duplicating one. But let's go ahead and cut down some of these trees real quick by the poopy snowman. Oh, let's see, how many, how many again did we need? 176 hoppers. So to start, we need 176 chests, and that is about three stacks. Wow. Wow, and one log makes uh, two chests, I believe. No, two logs makes one chest. Yikes, yeah, because we, we need eight planks and four per log, yeah. So we need six stacks of wood to make three stacks of chests. And then we need five stacks of iron ingots, which we have. I've got these in rows with torches so that I can just plant them and go do something else and they all grow. All right, there's a stack and a half. I think there was a stack and a half of birch wood in the uh, chests as well. And since I am currently farming manually, I want to use be easy to get wood and save the more annoying to get wood in case I want to build something with it. So even that oak we're going to leave in the chest for now. All right, how many is that now? And there's there's the vegan poop. <laughs> All right, that is three stacks plus one. The other advantage to the project we're doing now is that it gets that out of this main area. Um, I want to clear this up so that I can start decorating it, start making it match the rest of the base for style.
All right, and I'm anticipating this will get me to four and a half stacks. Let's see. Uh, Katie says, did you have cat noises on your stream, or is there a stray cat outside my second floor window? Yep. That's what it is. I think... I think you're hearing this guy. <laughs> And yep, four and a half stacks, so we should uh, we should be there with this uh, here, this fourth row of trees chopped. Yeah, especially with more of these tall ones like this. That's encouraging. But yeah, what makes the birch so easy to farm manually is that it never grows higher than what you can reach without jumping. And it grows straight up. So, super easy. Uh, look! Six stacks exactly. Six stacks even. I planned that. I planned it that way. I did the math in my head. And it's perfect. Alright, let's go make three stacks of chests <laughs> for hoppers. Alright. Planks. And I wish I could spacebar and repeat the recipe. Wouldn't that be nice? And I am out of space, so let's... There we go. I'm glad I didn't accidentally hit crafting table. Jeez. All right, now the iron. Uh, Kenny says you'll be able to easily auto farm bamboo for chests in 1.93. That is true. Uh, it amuses me that uh, Il Mango, I don't know if he still is or not, but for a while was just on a rampage about that. Like, oh, it breaks the game. No. It There's, there's like, it's already so easy to get wood. And... Uh, I don't want to build literally everything it would out of bamboo because it doesn't look that great except for some very specific cases, so I think it'll be fine. All right, here we go. Uh, hoppers. One stack. Oh, we need more. Oh, we need 15 stacks of iron. Not five. It's five stacks per stack of... Uh, Hoppers. All right. <laughs> okay, so more hoppers. Yeah, but for utility wood, it's awesome. Yes, and I think that is that is fine. I mean, there are a lot of items in Minecraft that I think are way too abundant. For example, copper. It is no longer special when it's basically the trash block you bring out of the mines. Um, but simply having a utility wood for uh, for making chests and stuff, I don't think that breaks the game at all. I think that's a good change. I like it. All right, let's look at the schematic again, like uh, the materials list again. Um, and how many? We need 41 cauldrons. I shouldn't have put that iron away yet. Let's go ahead and make the 41 cauldrons. While we're here, we're near the iron. Let's just make a stack of cauldrons. Why not? I have the iron for it. Boom, ba doom. All right, cauldrons. There's a stack. I'm rich. <laughs> All right. Suspicious that that is not oxidized. I was thinking for a second maybe it got waxed, <laughs> but nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because I usually uh, scrape off the oxidation every time I come over here. Um, all right, so we have our hoppers. We have our uh, cauldrons. We need to choose the block we're going to make this out of. Um, so I'm, I'm leaning towards something dark, but maybe that's a bit much. I mean, maybe the... Uh, 
Maybe the andesite is a good look for this. Let's, uh... Oh, there's a slime here, too. Wow, another slime chunk. Food of Thunk It. Um, let's see. Configuration. Let's do render blocks as translucent false. I kind of like that. I'd say we could make it out of iron, but there's no iron stairs. There's copper stairs, no iron stairs. Like maybe this down here. Um, these down here we could make out of the polished basalt, or uh, polished blackstone, because that's going to be set on the floor. And yeah, I, I did dig this a little bit aggressively down, didn't I? <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, Especially since we've raised this up since then, decided that's fine. So yeah, I think these down here are going to be um, polished black stones. So we can start with that. Uh, so let's go ahead and change the render mode to single layer. There it is. And there's the bottom layer there. Let's make that out of polished black stone. And I definitely do not have enough in the inventory now, but let's start with it. And the schematic, of course, will be... Lightmatic will be mad at me. Let's kill this guy. Die! Die! Yeah! Yeah! That was a rough fight. Okay, let's uh, start right over here. Boop, 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 boop. And yeah, you can be mad at me, Light Matica. I don't care. Doesn't mean I can't pick block, though. I pick block constantly. All right, time for more blackstone. Okay, good. Nothing's going to spawn on that platform yet. And I think I have more polished in here. If not, I'll just make more. Yep, there's a stack. Any more before I craft more? No. This has all come from tearing down that uh, that bastion remnant. <laughs> all right, let's go in there with two stacks. There we go. Beautiful first layer. Alright, I can pick block that layer because the schematic isn't rendered on it. Okay. And I bet I run out of redstone again <laughs> doing this. I have to go mining again. Okay, there's another layer done. We'll come back for some of that redstone. Um, let's see. That'll work better. 
because these are now in our way. And up. Alright, so we need some slabs. Cool. There's a spot to start. side. Okay, yeah, the soul stand there uh, for the uh, water elevator. Let's go here. And that's a slab. Okay, so that is all the blocks for these three levels. And that's as far as we're going to go here. Now we should focus on a little bit of the redstone. And I have them... Oh, there's a block right there. That I had missed. Let's double check that. I see. Yeah, it's part of this item filter over here. Oops, that's too low. There we go. Cool. Alright, let's go grab my redstone box. And hey, for a Dan stream, we're actually quite a bit ahead in productivity. <laughs> All right, let's pop it right there. And let's see, what do we need in this layer? We need, we need glass. Uh, we need, we need polished blackstone slabs. Let's see, uh, one repeater. One comparator, one torch, one lever, hopper. Oh, there are blocks out here too. Well, I'll place those later. They're really far out. <laughs> those are the base, uh, those are the redstone for the piston feed tape for the cauldrons. Oh, let me adjust my posture here. My back has been killing me for a week and a half now. Uh, okay, so let's grab repeaters. Let's grab comparators. There was a lever in there I saw. Um, boom, boom. I think that was, that was it, wasn't it? A torch. Which I can make with this. Let's go ahead and do that now. There we go. And I've got comparators. Let's grab a single soul sand. Um, and also some glass and some blackstone, polished blackstone slabs. If I have those. I don't know that I do, actually. Yes, I do. Cool. We'll grab this half stack right there. And soul sand. Boop. And glass, you can see here. All of the glass that I own at this point. <laughs> uh, here it is. Let's just grab a, a stack and this partial stack here. Because uh, there's going to be more as we go. I think there will be just the one soul sand, though. All right. Uh, polished uh, blackstone slabs right here. Yes, make 
Light Matic get angry. Let's turn the uh, transparent blocks back on. All right, let's put that there so that I can do... Oh, I can pick block this. There we go. Cool, blocks it's not going to yell at me about. Unlike that one. Okay. Comparator that way. And the repeater was over there, so was the redstone torch. Uh, so now I need a temporary block here to aim the hopper into. Let's use cobblestone. And hopper. There we go. Pink onions, welcome! First, but not really. <laughs> And with the lurk, I hope you enjoy the lurk. Thanks for dropping by and uh, saying hello and redeeming the first, but not really. Hope you're having a good day. All right, let's uh, go over here. Oh, that that was <laughs> that's kind of hilarious, actually. There we go. Oh, I missed. Perfect. Okay. Now why is that saying that it's in the wrong state? Oh. <laughs> I place it like that. The other guy placed it like that. So let's let's do it to match. It's always a good idea, even if it doesn't really matter in a schematic for something that you don't fully understand. <laughs> um, this one is less mysterious to me than the uh, item sorter thing is, although I'm starting to understand how that one works as I've been watching it go and doing some troubleshooting along the way. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've been learning a whole lot of redstone lately. Watch out, I'm going to be a, a redstone master. All right, and that's going to be filled with water, but later. All right, so the glass goes there. Uh, we're going to need more of these. And yes, I'm using the polished blackstone instead of polished andesite. Um, oh, those are stairs. Okay, so those will need to be changed. Um, and then let's do temporary. Seriously. Rip. All right, let's uh, put it back. <laughs> Good thing this is easy. Just a minor irritation is all. Oh, let's uh, change it back to all. There we go. That'll help. There we go. Place exactly where it goes. All right, back to single layer mode, and let's get the sticks out of the inventory or out of the hot bars so that I don't do that again. Um, all right, where were we? We were placing that right there. Oh, and now it's rendering the uh, the chest. It wasn't doing that before. Oh, so we need more chests. <laughs> let's see. I have a text from my wife. Let me check that real quick. Oh, it's a picture of my son. Trying to eat Christmas lights. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep, we put up a Christmas tree and uh, it's now my full time job to prevent them from uh, tearing it down. <laughs> All right, so we're going to want some polished blackstone stairs. Uh, oh, we get to place the cauldrons. Nice. Um, before we go anywhere, there are other blocks we can place. So let's do that. We can place that and that. 
for the uh, item filter. Where do those go? Those go here into this dropper. That is for uh, giving you empty buckets as you uh, run the run the lava farm. Okay. Servers. And yeah, all the stinky ca cauldrons. So let's... Yeah, before I go get any new blocks... Are your kids cats, says Kaylee? Might as well be. I mean, we got three cats, two kids, and I watched them all, both, uh, all day <laughs> to make sure they stay out of trouble. Okay. Yeah, so let's do this then. There we go. And then let's grab droppers out of the redstone box. If I have them. Dispensers. Alright, I need to craft more droppers. Yeah, that's right. I was using a ton of droppers. Ooh, that means they're in a different... Um, yeah. I was putting blocks that I was using often over here in... Yes, right here. So let's grab the observers. Let's grab the droppers. Uh, let's grab some hoppers. Why not? Stinky pistons? Actually, no, it's regular pistons we need. We will need some stinky pistons later, I think. Um, yes, that will do. So, regular pistons, and I hear a slime. Where is he? Down there somewhere. There he is. Hi. I spotted you. You can't hide. Alright, so this here. Let's place a temporary block right there. And then I forget, is it that way? Yes. Yeah. Oh no, I lost the cobblestone. Boop, boop, boop. And then over here... This is kind of annoying how these are all so inconsistent. Uh, because now I need to place temporary block here. So I can do that. There we go. And now, pauldrons. <laughs> Not a block I use often. I think I have just placed more cauldrons than I have... Oh no, because I did do a powdered snow farm, a little one, um, about a year ago. So, no, I have placed, uh, I think it was a 6x6 six six grid of cauldrons before. So, this may or may not break the record for a number of cauldrons I've ever placed. We'll see. Okay, and that was a corner that had it. This is a corner that does not, so a temporary block will be needed. And temporary block. Alright, and that is all the way around. And yeah, these ones... The ones that are bright red are the ones that in the schematic had lava in them. It is not important. <laughs> so, all right, let's break that. And break that. And that is all. Okay, and this... Which way is it that I need to... That way. Okay, so the arrow points at me. That's, that's how that works. Okay. Which means... Oh, that's good news. Um, I do need to place a block right there, actually. So let's do that. Look at that. Good shot. 
And I think, yeah, redstone wire is there. I can't really see it. But I'm gonna need to go get some. All right, you can die now, slime. I need slime balls. There we go. Oh, whoop, I uh, recovered that piece of cobblestone. I was worried about that. All right. Um, right, we need redstone dust. Let's just grab a little bit of it. And that is... Other than the uh, polished blackstone stairs, that'll be it. Let's make sure we're lighting this up. I do not want to invite a creeper. Here's a temporary block that can go. All right, redstone wire. There we go. Redstone wire. Observer facing this way. And that's going to need redstone wire. Let's eat a steak. Okay. And that also. He had a block there. I just couldn't see it through the schematic. <laughs> of course. All right, and now I can place that. And if I'm very careful. Oh, there we go. That should be the piston feed tape, uh, except that there are switches above it for turning it on. Yeah, there's the polished dripstone. Let's see, I need more levers. Got a stack of them here. Let's test the piston feed tape. First try. First try. There we go. Um, and let's see. I think this is the switch that I need to do. Oh, but I need to be quick about it. That's what. Oh. There we go. Yay! It works. So, uh, these, these will be dripping lava into them. And uh, so this will continuously rotate. I love that you can actually walk on those now and not fall through. Uh, while I stand here with empty buckets being uh, dropped on me from here and a full inventory and just right click. And this is designed for being AFK'd. But as previously stated, my intention is not to AFK 
Um, I still need a station like this so that I can stand here and each new lava bucket that does not fit in my inventory gets dropped into this hopper, which will be put into a chest that I haven't placed yet. And then new buckets, empty buckets, will be dispensed at me here so that I don't end up losing that stack and just picking up the lava bucket again. Because uh, then the, the thing breaks. Not like catastrophically, but it stops working for a bit. But yeah, so... But these here... In front of this observer, that point of dripstone, semi-AFK, yeah, idle rather than AFK. Exactly. Something I can do while I sandwich and watch, uh, you know, Critical Role or some other uh, YouTube videos or Twitch streams. Uh, sometimes, you know, pull up a book or on my phone or a game, but at my computer, in my office at least, but if I am not actually where my computer is, um, then, uh, yeah, because realistically, the, the reason that I like like that, <laughs> Dr. World will watch it. <laughs> Hold on. Is something you can do while you sandwich? Is that a Dr. Horrible reference? Because I don't recognize that one, and I have seen Dr. Horrible many, many times. But, uh, but yeah, basically, I figure if this were my real life job, something like this, I would likely be doing this while I was reading a book on my phone. I know, lava buckets, right? Y yes, Kaylee, I've seen it. I've seen it dozens of times. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. <laughs> it's brilliant. I love it. Oh, you're just you're just switching gears too. Watch Doctor Horrible. Okay, I was gonna say, because I don't recognize it. something you can do while you sandwich as a uh, <laughs> as a reference to that show. All right, and then if I do a slow lever, that stops it. Um, but I probably want to do that slow lever over here because this is where I'm going to do most of the work here. Yeah, I fell down. So here is how these switches work. So let's turn this one back on. If I do, if I flip it quickly enough that it has not triggered the observer yet, then it starts going. If I'm too slow, then it uh, it stops or it doesn't start. So I want to uh, stop it right here because then the start point will be over there. So, yep, stopped an update from this observer right here. And so now, when I'm ready for this to go, um, when I've uh, these are filled with lava and I'm ready, I need more lava buckets. I just go. Like that. And then when I'm done, like that. Excellent. Okay, so that is working. That is a big part of the build. Uh, done. Let's uh, start on... Okay, we need to go get some, uh, some polished blackstone stairs and we need to get some chests. Alright, do I have any already made or do I need to use... Yes, I do! I have a stack! Excellent! It's like I planned this or something. I didn't. Uh, and then polished blackstone stairs. Which I've got right here. Cool. Alright, let's stock up on these rockets. I'm glad I have an excuse to use my rockets now because I have so much gunpowder and paper. It's insane. So yeah, this will empty out and it will be nothing to refill it. Okay. Let's go down to the bottom level. Okay, and there's the chest over here. Boop. And boop. I think that's the only chest on that level. 
Uh, and then if I go up one, then there's the chest right here. Boop, boop. And then we put our black stone stairs like so. And I think that does it for that level. Oh, I need redstone right there. Cool. All right, and then we have a chest up here. Boopity boop. Stairs. Uh, full blocks. And a hopper into the chest. Uh, comparator over here. Stone, redstone, and that, I believe... There we go. That should complete the item filter. And that's for the empty buckets. And this I can do like so into the comparator. Glass. And I might change this to a different color of glass later. Bowser, how are you doing? It has been a while. Good to see you. I hope you are having a good morning. Oh, that's right. Uh, your uh, <laughs> The automated thing um, doesn't happen for you because you changed your name. But I'm trying out a new bot, and I think I have a, a new way to do those uh, responses in chat to first messages that won't matter if you change your username. So hopefully, oh, it's afternoon now. Really? Okay. I thought it would be morning. Nice. You've been living life, life and focusing on IRL. On IRL. Well, that is good. I have been as well. <laughs> but, uh, Making some time for this, but it has been tricky with all the IRL stuff. December gets busy. 2 p.m. Okay. All right. So we can't place this layer yet because it has to be placed underneath. So we've got these right here. And again, it's polished andesite in the schematic, but we're going to use polished blackstone. Let's place this glass. And we can use that to place the blackstone against it. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to do black stained glass here, too. <laughs> uh, I'm going with a theme here. All right, and we do the full square. And then the... Uh, let's see, where are the furnaces? They are there. Okay, so that is those are the output hoppers from the furnaces. Let's see, uh, Bowsy says, uh, yeah, we have two of the three kids' birthdays this week. Oh, man, that's not chaos. And then end of school, then Christmas, then prepare for school, then middle child birthday, end of January, then school, back till, back till end of January. So here's a question that I never thought of until now. Um, being in a hemisphere where the seasons are opposite mine... Do you still do your long break during the summer? Do you even have a long break? So I wonder if our uh, our long school breaks, if you have those, are opposite or not. You have six weeks off in summer? Okay, so during my winter. Yeah, that's, that's what we have is about that much off during our summer. Interesting. I bet... Uh, Families with uh, friends in Australia who are American or vice versa. But that makes it really fun to coordinate a vacation. <laughs> Good thing I don't have any friends in Australia, right? Who would do that? Oh. Crazy people down there. So I hear. All 
right, and there's another chest, uh, more solid, oh, no, these are not solid blocks, these are upside down stairs. Oh, so each state is different on uh, when those, yeah, that's the same here, on when those six weeks are. I mean, it's 21st of January to 31st of January, that's when your kids are off. Uh, do you mean 21st of uh, December to 31st of January is what I assume? Because that sounds, uh, sounds about right. Yeah, no worries. Just wanted to make sure I was understanding. <laughs> okay, and boop, boop the chests. Um, let's do this. Yeah, we're here. Let's do this outer row of hoppers. And I think they just all go right to here. Yeah, these are the output chests. So the smelted pro product goes here. Bowser's going to be right back. No worries, Bowser. All right, and it will let me know if I place one wrong because, ah! Well, I guess holding down right click doesn't work very well for that. <laughs> Gonna have to individually click each one. Oh well, that's fine. What a hardship. But yeah, it will let me know if I place one the wrong way because it will be bright orange, meaning that, uh, I don't see our example of that from here. Meaning that I have the right block in the wrong state, or facing the wrong direction. I might, might want to move that. I uh, I measured them off of the furnaces, but. If this is this close, we'll see how much access I have, but that's going to be right against the glass layer, which might be okay. Welcome back, Bowser. Okay, all of those were placed correctly, and now we can go back to the craft up the polished black stone. There we go. And yeah, again, the uh, schematic is using polished andesite as the building blocks, and we're using polished blackstone instead. It doesn't matter, but the schematic is going to let me know that's the wrong block. Okay, that's another layer, I think, completely done. So now what we can do is go back down to the layer with the pointed dripstone. Uh, and let's go grab that. Oh, I hear a drown. That'll be up there. Uh, and how much did we need? Well, let's just go grab a stack. We have a little bit of junk in the inventory, too. We can drop into the uh, item sorter. Uh, saplings. Granite, cobblestone. I can use these as temporary blocks or, you know, even these. All right, that'll work. And then uh, what were we after? We were after pointed dripstone, which will be here. And there it is, a stack right there. I gotta make the airplane noises every time. Because I'm a grown up. There's a witch. What? At least it wasn't a creeper. At least it wasn't a creeper. Backing off in case of creeper. Ah, I did not properly light that up. Hey, you. I do not appreciate your presence. Get out. Right, do I have any more torches on me? Redstone torches. All right, let's go get... Let's turn that off. Turn the shaders back on. As well as the light levels. Okay, yeah. There are a couple spawning spots. Let's eat. And grab some torches. Phew! That could have been way worse if it was a creeper. <laughs> 
All right, torches. Uh, here's a stack. Let's put them in the offhand. All right, let's go in here carefully. All right, I don't see anybody. All right, and that is all lit up now by that one torch. Anyone down here? No? Okay, that's what I thought. And that's not spawnable because of the redstone dust. Okay, good. Woof! <laughs> Bouncy says, I'm gonna lurkies and do some stuff. I hope the stuff doing goes well. Thanks for dropping in and saying hello, Bowser. All right. <laughs> Let's turn the shaders back off and the rendering back on. Yeah, there's the uh, orange. That means that it's the right block, but in the wrong state according to the schematic. That'll be different as it is functioning. So now, point to dripstone. There we go. And we're skipping that one because that's where the observer is. Oof. Okay. We can do this by crouching. There we go. <laughs> All right. We don't need the rendering for this. We know each block gets one. Does that have one? Yeah. It's just offset a little bit. And this one gets skipped. Right there. Okay. And that one skipped. All right, that's the point of dripstone placed. Yeah, that makes sense, because uh, we placed 40, and so we have 40 pointed dripstone and 41 cauldrons, because one corner is filled in for the sake of the piston feed tape. All right, that... Excellent. I should see four blue spots. Yep, four blue spots. All right. Next layer, uh, okay, we've got more uh, blackstone stairs. And more full blocks of blackstone. These are all full blocks, right? Yeah, and there's where the lava goes. Look at that. Look at the lava trough. <laughs> that is going to make the spawn proof on its own because there's quite a lot of light that'll come out of that. see what is that 44 lava sources i think okay yeah those are all full blocks okay good and hey we can use some of the uh, cobblestone mined with that fortune pick from this very spot to make uh <laughs> to make furnaces Uh, another stack. And glass, glass, glass. That's trippy. I know that's not real lava. But still, it makes me nervous to, uh, to walk near it. <laughs> Uh, 
as soon as we put a little bit of lava in this trough, we can start the piston feed tape going and it'll start generating lava already. So uh, that's nice. Okay, he says, is that granite? That? No. <laughs> um, the schematic is using polished andesite as the building block, uh, but I want to use polished blackstone. So wherever I'm doing that, the Lightmatica is yelling at me, but uh, it's the aesthetic I want. Yeah, it's blackstone. Okay, that's all the way around there. And those all go into the furnaces. So let's place a temporary block and then start on this inner circle. Yeah, we're safe there. Square, I say circle, but it's a square. Now let's turn off, off the rendering for a minute. <laughs> that is trippy and a half. And I need more blackstone. Let's go grab a couple of buckets of lava as well. I think I have some that already have lava. Okay, it says, I wish there was a command in Lightmatica to replace a block with a different block. There is a way to do it, um, actually. I don't know if you need to be in creative mode or not for it. Um, but I hadn't decided yet that that is what I wanted, so I didn't bother with it. Um, but the this guy uh, who does the tutorial, I'm going to do the link again. Um, he uses the same uh, generic building block I do for his uh, schematics, or in uh, creative building, which is the uh, polished andesite, so that's pretty cool. Let's make two more stacks of it. This won't be the last time I'm using it, so it won't go to waste. And let's see, in unstackables, I might have a bucket of lava or two. Mmm, rabbit stew! Too bad you can't have a, uh, like you can have a water bottle, a, a lava bottle. <laughs> oh, I bet this thing has stopped, backed up and stopped again. No, it's still going. Okay. Nope, no lava buckets there. Let's check in this, but I don't think so. Yeah, empty buckets. We can grab those. That is filling up. Kaylee says, here's a question. If you only want to smelt some stuff in this, does it waste all your lava? Um... That is one of the downsides of lava, is that if you only want to sta or, uh, smelt a few items, you waste some lava, but it's renewable. And for smelting in bulk, which is what I'm mostly going to be doing, it's much more effective. And it leaves my wood free to be uh, used as a building block instead of smelted into uh, charcoal. So yes, but it is actually a very good trade-off for this. Plus, it just makes sense in an evil volcano lair that I would be using lava. And no, I don't think I have lava buckets. That's actually surprising. Uh, let's go get some. <laughs> let's go into the nether. Let's go actually to my outdoors nether, ah, nether portal that doesn't go up on the roof. Turn the shaders back on. Yes, I just did that while in flight. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a professional. And Katie says, why are you smelting glass instead of villager trading for it? Well, one, I don't have very good villager trades yet. I don't have a lot of space. I'm just going to get two buckets for now. Um, and two, because I want a big old super smelter. And also, it won't just be for the glass. It'll be for other things like the uh, the smooth basalt, for example. Okay. 
and boop. And full inventory. All right, so let's head back. But yeah, just uh, an evil volcano lair that doesn't have an evil vol uh, lava smelter in it. That's just not right. Liquid hot magma. Do the thing where you fly over the lake and get the bucket without landing. Um, I don't think I've ever actually tried that, but that sounds like a fun challenge for another day. <laughs> um, actually, that sounds like a really good mini game. I'm sure that is already several mini games. I hear a dolphin. I want to go kill it. All right, so let's, uh, ah, dang it. <laughs> oh, it's not lit up up there yet. It will be in a minute. In the meantime, I've got that butt. You're dead. I don't have arrows. I have my crossbow, but I don't have arrows. <laughs> Okay. Let's do this. Um, we know where the lava goes. Oh, he's coming after me. All right. You're a butt. Come away from there. Here's where an infinity bow comes in handy. No, it isn't, Kaylee, because I have no arrows in my inventory. So an infinity bow... Would be able to fire zero times. There's another one. Zero times. Whereas my piercing crossbow. I mean one one arrow takes as much of an inventory slot as a stack. So the difference is negligible. Where an infinity bow does come in handy is uh, fighting a warden. And basically only then. All right. Let's get arrows then. Derp ad, no. No, derp ad, Kaylee. <laughs> I am 100% team mending piercing crossbow. I can go caving, yeah, there we go. I can go caving and come out with more arrows than I took in. All right, let's grab a stack of arrows and a crossbow. And see if they've despawned or if they need to be murdered. They may have despawned. I don't trust it. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to finish this ring. Put in some lava and then double check down below for creepers. But the lava will spawn proof it. Let's just do here and here, which both have pointed dripstone under them. Let's see, uh, Katie says, but it's not that you had to put torches down in your sensitive build where a creeper could hurt it. Yep. <laughs> like I even have them in my hand, so there we go. And now, are you here? No, they despawned. Okay, good. Woof. And now we are lit up and spawn proof. And we technically have a functional lava farm. It is not anywhere close to full capacity. It's at about, what would this be? 5%? So we got 44 we got 40 blocks that can uh, spawn some lava. And we have two. So yeah, that's 5%. That's why we derp you, due to the derpage. Well, but I would have to derp. There are no derps. Damn bear pig doesn't derp. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh... Just make a little bridge here. Make sure it's lit up. He says, get drunk and redeem the boozinate. All right. It's been a bit since a boozinate. So I'm going to do a generous boozinate for Kaylee. It won't get me drunk, though, but... There we go. Still cool and still delicious. Okay, just being paranoid here. All right. <laughs> okay, so those two there have lava. Liquid hot magma. I can't easily get there because of those. No, it won't let me jump up. <laughs> what about right here? Can I get through? Right here? How's it doing? These are the two. Actually, that one too. Really? So does it not have to be a source block? I thought it had to be a source block. But more are dripping than I was expecting. Which is cool. Alright, but let's, uh, while that drips, let's keep building. <laughs> um, let's see... Got these I can store in here. And that will, uh, that should be triggered um, as this goes. So, uh, Kaylee says, maybe it drips but doesn't turn into lava in the cauldron. I think that might be what's happening because uh, I've made dripstone farms before. Hey, that one has, has lava in it. I've made dripstone farms before, but... Uh, they used water, and I think that is what happened, is that I needed, I needed sources. But it's easy to make water sources, so I don't know for sure. Maybe I just made them sources and I didn't need to. <laughs> yeah. Nobody saw that. Alright, let's just keep continuing it like so. Alright, uh, shaders off. Rendering back on. And I guess now what we need is the furnaces. So, let's make... A couple stacks of furnaces? Let's start with one stack and then uh, make another one when we need it, inevitably. <laughs> Actually, what I can do is look at the uh, materials list, can't I? Okay, this says, I covered my eyes so I don't see your dirt. Good job. You did well. Alright, let's go here. Uh, schematic placements, configure, material list. Oh. Um, let's change it to layer mode all. And now it will show more than just the one layer. Okay. It's angry with me about the polished andesite. Um, let's see. Furnace. We need 50 furnaces. So yeah, one stack would do it. Awesome. So we need... Ugh, I don't have room. Um... <laughs> okay, that can be combined. Oh, the arrows. I don't need those anymore. Actually, you're getting a drink due to extreme thirst. Were you boozinating? We don't need dripstone anymore, so I can put that away. Let's just put it in the uh, sorting chest. Okay, he says, if I tried to avoid seeing all the derps, I wouldn't be able to watch you at all. Oh no, you'd be able to watch nonstop. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, we have enough schlots. And 
and now we get a stack of Fjordernesses. <laughs> no, it's 10.30 when sleep time is 11. Yeah, so you have about 12 and a half hours then. I should just change the elytra sound to that. Okay. And they're facing out this way. And I can actually just place them on the hoppers down there. Very cool. Uh, and then... Boop, boop. Are we going to get this whole thing done in one stream? That is unheard of. Professional. Oh, to booze? Oh no, you can you can booze anytime. You can booze in the morning. The only time when it's not okay to booze is when uh, you've already boozed a couple times and you're going to have to drive somewhere soon. That's, then it's not cool. Ah, dang it. No suitable hotbar slot found. Pick blocks. Uh, oh, there's there's no spot for it to put those in. Okay, I see. I was going to say, it doesn't, didn't have to be in the hotbar before. Totally unheard of. Do you have a placement helper on? No, I don't like using those. I don't uh, I don't judge others for. Um, I just, I like that there's the pick block, but I think it takes too much. It goes too far away from the vanilla building experience. Um, if it automatically places the blocks. So there, I feel like there has to be some building challenge at least. So I do place all these blocks properly manually. The build aid is simply the schematic showing me what I need and where. Okay, there are all the furnaces placed and all of the hoppers to fuel them. And I think next is railing, yeah. Okay, let's uh, start with the blocks. There we go, and... Oh, close, but none of these are spawnable. He says, me too, but your placement of those furnaces looks too easy. Haley. I'm a pro. Also, it was easy because I had those um, those hoppers to place them on. So it was just it was just move and click. Also, this is going to be super easy, barely an inconvenience because it's just straight down. But no, I am. Oh, yeah. See, there's there's the evidence right there. <laughs> that wasn't a, a true derp. That wasn't a mistake. I was demonstrating that I could place a block that is inappropriate here. Um, because I am manually placing every block. Yep. And the glass for the water elevator. Okay, says, you being a pro, that can't be it. It's definitely it. There's literally nothing else that could be. All right. Is there anything besides rails that I can place before I go down and get rails? I don't think so. Yep, the rest of this layer is rails. Um, just powered rails and regular rails. No activator or detector rails, right? I think so. Okay, well, let's, uh, before we go anywhere else, let's check, see if we've got lava and a cauldron. You know what? We should just turn this thing on. That way, it'll come around to here where I don't have to do any ridiculous crouching. So, there we go. Is this going to dispense these things? I don't think so. I think there's a different timing circuit. There is an etho hopper clock that uh, will be attached to this. Um, 
basically I'm gonna put it in because it's part of the the schematic and block by block tutorial and I uh, will analyze it later to see how to safely remove it because I will as stated not be truly AFKing here so I won't need it all right so let's go down and get some rails how many do we need A uh, total of 104 powered rails and six regular rails. All right, let's make all of those. How many do we already have? All right, we need another stack. We need another half a stack of powered rails. So what is that? Gold uh, sticks and redstone, right? Do I have a... don't have a... Uh, crafting table there. I have one over here, though, so we can check it. Uh, right? <laughs> Thought I did. Oh, it's over here. That's where it is. All right, um, let's see. Under redstone tab. No? Okay. Powered... No? Rail? Ah, uh, excuse me, why don't I have the recipe for this? There it is. Why didn't the search work? Whatever. Okay, so for six, so we need basically six of those, so we need 36 gold ingots so that would be what four gold blocks is all why are powered rails so much cheaper than uh, just like trap doors <laughs> minecraft logic all right so yeah that should do it uh, do I have any redstone in here? Regular redstone? No. Oh, but I do have, I have powered rail. Okay, forget this. I don't need to craft it. Let's put the gold back. I have lots of powered rail. Yeah, let's grab a stack and this partial stack. And why do I have that? Because I'm a pro. Dan is a pro confirmed. I don't need that much actually right now. Uh, I do need these though. All right, hoppers. There we go. And now the regular rails for the corners. Don't fall in the lava. Oop, hopper. Okay, that is that rail line. Um, and then there's one more rail line, which is why I need three more regular corner rails. Um, and let's see, can I safely break this or does that, that makes that spawnable, of course it does. <laughs> Sorry, I can place the torch in there, and then it'll be gone when I place the lava. So let's check that. Is there a lava cauldron on its way around to me? Huh? Oh, Satan redeemed hydrate. <laughs> Thank you, Satan. All right. Mm -mm. No, no lava cauldron on its way to me. Boo. Uh, okay, so let's go up one more layer. We are getting close to the functional part of this build being done. 
Okay, so we need a uh, polished black stone here. Um, I'm going to need to get some redstone. Okay, which way is this dropper facing? This way. And hopper facing into it, comparator facing out. And chest. Oh, I don't think I placed that right. Yep. Place it there. And then we've got uh, two hoppers facing into it, like so. And then this is the bottom of the horizontal part of the water item conveyor. Again, I'm probably going to change to black stained glass, just because I like the look of that. Okay, redstone blocks for powering the rail. Alright, powered rail, let's go. And it's giving me this bright orange warning that it's expecting powered uh it to be powered true powered equals true oh save and redeemed boozinate now yeah here we go thank you satan because yeah in the in the schematic this powered rail is powered but of course it isn't yet but as long as it's the right block we're fine Um, and I think there's one under there, too. Yep. Very cool. All right, what have we got? Redstone blocks. We need four of those. I mean, there are other ways to power these, too, but uh, redstone blocks are nice and easy. Let's just do it. Even though I'm redstone poor. So right here. Yep, and now those are powered, and so it agrees with the schematic completely. Oh, that is satisfying. This whole row just going correct. <laughs> nice. Ah, there we go. Um, oh, right, I needed actual redstone dust for right there. Let's go get that. And boop. Okay, so next layer. Got a little bit more. Uh, so let's put a block there. Uh, we need more redstone dust. Let's go get more redstone dust. Uh, let's see, redstone repeater headed that way, uh, comparator facing that way. And then, let's see, this hopper faces down. And that goes into it, so there. And then we've got the sides of the item conveyor. And I need to remember, I do not have silk touch right now. Uh, so we want to use other blocks. Temporarily. Here and here. Not glass. <laughs> and. Whoops. There we go. All right, and then water will go in there. We'll get the water later. Uh, is that another whole layer? Wow. 
I don't know, I was so prepared with materials. Okay, do we have a, a lava cauldron waiting for us? No? No? No. <laughs> All right, uh, next layer. Okay, we have the top of the, the glass chute. And we have a uh, chest. And we are up against the ceiling. <laughs> All right, and then so temporary block. Let's use polished basalt and glass. There we go. Eat a steak. This is hungry work. Okay. Are we done? We're done. We're actually done. <laughs> I mean, we're done with the schematic. We, we're done with the actual machinery of the build. There's, uh, there's a lot more work to be done that I'll probably be doing between streams. I mean, we have some time, so we'll do some of it now. Um, one thing I'd like to do is continue the polished basalt, or polished uh, blackstone, rather around here. Can I not? Oh, there's a switch there. That's why. So as long as it'll let me. So I think this will look better. Oh, no, I don't want you there. Yeah, we dug this room out and then moved the uh, schematic up a couple blocks, so I've got some filling in to do. <laughs> some undigging uh, of the hole where that uh, that pickaxe broke. <laughs> oh, because of course. I should go to spawn and just buy a silk touch book. And I guess we're not technically done until we finished filling in the lava moat and uh, finish the item elevator, the water vader. So let's do the water vader. I have ice. So yeah, if we move the schematic down, we can see there is water source there. You should get extra derps for us as Gilly. No. No. I should get underped a few times for actually finishing a project in one single stream. And those are all water sources all the way down. Okay. So let's go get ice. Regular ice, yep. We'll just grab the whole stack for now. And I have just the right pickaxe for it. It's like I planned it. <laughs> Good thing I don't have silk touch or, you know, I wouldn't be able to make water out of this. All right. Oh, it wants a glass right there too, but uh, I um, uh, <clears throat> deliberately left that glass out so that I could get in here like this. Yeah. And then I'm stuck. I swim out. Should be able to, right? <laughs> there we go. Yep, I'm a pro. I got out. All right, so ice goes there. And. Ooh, okay, so I'm going to have to sacrifice this piece of glass right here. That's fine. Oh, that worked. <laughs> that is not what I intended. Um, there we go.
Okay, water elevator and conveyor is installed and functional. Let's just paranoid triple check that we don't have spawnable spots. I think we're good. I mean, that's giving me a warning, but nothing's going to spawn there because uh, there are blocks over the top of it. Unspawnable ones. And I... Uh, I was going to say I might put some uh, composters over the hoppers, but no, that's not an option because rails. So, <laughs> all right, let's go see if we have any more lava that we can collect. I'll we'll have to go this way. Let's turn off the rendering because we're done. Huh? Lava? No? Huh? No. No lava. But what we can do now is put some of our redstone back. Droppers, uh, observers, hoppers. Um, repeaters and observers, pistons, levers. I think that is it. All right, let's uh, let's empty the inventory. And let's get some, uh, let's make some buckets. All right, uh, glass, ice, furnaces, chests. Oh, this is backed up. Has the has the minecart stopped? Let's turn the uh, shaders back on. I think the minecart might have stopped. It does that sometimes. It's not there. And it's not there. All right, stinky minecart, where did you go? Ah, oh, dang it, I've gotten myself stuck. <laughs> These are all on, which is good. Hey, there's there's frogs in. Did the minecart break somehow? Oh no, I think I know where it is. Um, I think it's in one of its uh, resting positions. Let me go back up. There it is. It's right there. Um, okay, so... Okay, here's what's going on. Um, my... My light over there, my indicator light needs a signal boost, it looks like. So, let's do redstone troubleshooting live. How about that? From a pro. Alright, and so we can take this repeater, put it here. Is that enough? No. Oh, is that not... Does that not go down from these? Okay, I thought glass would transmit the signal back down. Oh, that's gone forever. But maybe not. Okay. Alright, I just learned something about redstone. <laughs> the transparent block won't uh, transmit the redstone signal back down. Just up. Okay, so what's happened here is that we are indeed backed up. 
on non-stackable items. So the, the light is on as it should be. So if we look over here, um, it looks for a signal from this comparator, which is measuring this hopper here. So if there's anything in this hopper, then it will give an output which will, uh, this is the original circuitry, not my additional circuitry. It will power this line here, which turns off all of the loading mechanism, all of it. Um, and then my addition to it is this line here that lights up that light. And it's a little bit awkward because it's coming around all these chests that I want to be able to open. <laughs> so there's, that's why this has stopped. Um, I simply need to uh, empty some of this out and uh, so let's first let's actually a oh, rails or something that I could have put in the redstone chest so let's just manually put those in here uh, cauldrons I believe go here yes Uh, polished and uh, or blackstone slab stairs and blocks uh, black stained glass right over here and I'm doing this part manually because I don't want to wait for it to come back through before I use it for this build so okay we have a very clear inventory here um, but let's see do I have an empty shulker box out here nope let's get one And let's put diamond tools in it. Because there are several that have come through from other shulker boxes. Um, so let's see. We I think only two items need to come out and then it will be active again. So let's grab these two diamond swords. And then that hasn't turned off yet. Why not? Okay, because that is still full. Oh, because it's powered. Okay, all right. That makes sense. Do I have a repeater? No, but I have the stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, I don't have the stuff. I need one redstone dust. All right, let's grab a repeater. And let's fix my machine right now. Okay, a month ago, I wouldn't have known how to do this. <laughs> okay, but now what we need... Yeah, we need to not power this block after all. So, um, let's break that and break this. And now we have a flashing light because it's being powered by these. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, I will need to fix this. And I think I will do it on my own later. So I'm just going to place that there for use later. But, oh hi. He really likes to come back here into the machinery. So now we have that light flashing, which is cool. But the, the whole sorter is now active again. Because that hopper right there is now... Not that one. That one is now empty. Can't reach it from here. <laughs> Still, uh, we do need to prevent the next or delay the next time this happens so let's grab more diamond tools hey he's pushing me he's pushing me all right There we go. 
<laughs> Working. And you know, that actually is as good a time as any to, to uh, stop because we only have five minutes left. But that was actually a pretty satisfying way to end. Uh, troubleshooting a problem with uh, my um, adjustment to a complicated redstone contraption and figuring it out properly. And oh, look at that. Look at that. That one is bright. What we have there is at least one lava cauldron. Let's grab a bucket. This won't come into play right now because it is... My inventory is not full. All right, we had one. Let's go place it. And I'm just going to let this thing uh, fill itself up as I go, as I work on the rest of this room. <laughs> there we go. And it's going to go faster and faster uh, because we started with the two sources of lava and now we've doubled it. So it'll fill fa twice as fast as when we started uh, running this thing. And it'll only go faster from there. But yeah, let's uh, let's find a good place for a screenshot. A selfie. Let's take things out of my hands. Yeah, there it is. Let's, there we go, like so. Got my uh, stinky bubbles. <laughs> uh, but let's see, F1 and... F2. There we go. And I'll uh, tweak the lighting on that and post that to Twitter afterwards. But yeah, thanks everyone for joining. This has been one of the most productive streams ever. Uh, we built the entire contraption in one stream. So I'm going to let this go. I'm going to use it to smelt some glass and uh, finish decorating this room and the uh, the brewery. And uh, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be back next week for more of this. And uh, let's see, so next stream is on Wednesday, and I'm going to have to do it late. So not at my usual time of 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'll probably start at 9, so right about this time right now, but on Wednesday. And that is because my wife has an event she has to do for work, and uh, babysitting will be tricky. So I'm probably going to do a late night stream on Wednesday. And then on Saturday, we're going to continue uh, working on our highly upgraded communications and deep space network on Kerbal Space Program. And yeah, we'll be back next week for more uh, Minecraft. Uh, let's see who is online that we can raid. Let's see. I'm going to go to my phone because I'll get a bigger list than just the, uh, the short list that OBS shows me. And what is... That game grounded. Huh. Uh, let's raid Sanity. Um, she is uh, in hard but hardcore uh, preparing to fight a dragon, it sounds like. Um, so yeah, we're going to raid Sanity. She only went live half an hour ago. And uh, here is the raid message. If you're subscribed, copy the whole thing. Otherwise, just the part in between where it says Dan Bear for Totem. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Goodbye!